What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's daily video, we will be continuing our walkthrough of the main Dark Brotherhood assassination quests. And if you guys missed the previous video, make sure you check it out down below in the description. But this quest is called Breaching Security. And this is by far the most important quest to get right, because you really, really want the bonus objective reward here. It's a unique gem called a laver's token that can actually be used to start another quest that will unlock the ancient shrouded armor, the best assassin armor in the game. It's effectively a better version of shrouded armor and I'll tell you more about it later. So after you've done the previous quest found in the description, you'll have to come to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and speak to Gabriella to start this next one. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. She did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. Just going to remain silent here? He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Yes? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. So as Gabriella has said, we must assassinate him within one of the major cities. So the first thing we need to do is discover where these major cities are located and when he's actually going to get there. So to do this, just leave the sanctuary and open up your map when you're outside. And then we're just going to fast travel here on the map to Dragonbridge, which is located east from Solitude. Once you arrive though, just make your way down the street through Dragonbridge itself. You'll see the Emperor's headquarters marked with these two Imperial banners. So we're just gonna head on inside. All the same. Remember everything I said. Stay alert. You get to this. Once within, you can easily steal the target schedule. It's just here on the table. The it tells us where he will be and when. So if we look at this, it says on Fridas. The letter explains that he will visit the Understone Keep, a heavily guarded area. But then, in the afternoon, he makes his way to the guard's tower. This may also seem like the worst place possible to hey, kill him, but trust me, this is definitely not the case. So now we're going to fast travel over to Markov, which is found in the southeast of the map just here. It's important that we kill him in a city in order to gain the special bonus reward. There really are an infinite possibility of ways we can assassinate him, but I'm just going to show you my favourite ways and also the easiest ways to do it. So once you do arrive, you're going to want to come inside this local inn here. Basically, if the target sees you near a city, he will immediately change his schedule and instead he'll skip that city and head just somewhere else. This can be an absolute nightmare to deal with. So by sitting and waiting inside this pub here until Friday, he will arrive here in Markov with no interruption. So once it gets to Friday, or Freedas as it's called in Skyrim, during the morning he'll be in the Understone Keep. So let's take this opportunity to just position ourselves better. So we're just going to leave the pub here and just head up through the city of Markov to the, to the guard tower.
Once you do reach it, you can then just jump onto this little section of the roof here, and you get this incredible view over the main exit to the Understone Keep that our target will be coming out of. So now guys, we're just going to wait until 6pm. Around 30 seconds after, it's a bit random really, he'll emerge from this keep at the door we're looking at and he'll begin making his way to the guard's barracks. This is what I like to call your window of opportunity. So the first strategy and the easiest way to kill him is if you have the Assassin's Blade perk in the sneak skill tree for that 15 times damage boost. And then you can just wander along this rocky wall here and you can actually drop down for the perfect assassination. This is the best time to kill him as well because the guards are changing watch as well at the same time. So there will be none around to witness this brutal murder. Once he is dead though, we're just going to plant the evidence on his corpse that frames him for working with the Stormcloaks. So now anyone who finds his body will just think he's a traitor. And then you can just escape the city and return to Gabrielle in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary to claim your reward. The second way to kill him is to take him out with a bow. On harder difficulties though, this may not instantly kill him, but because you're so high up on this wall here, it's actually quite easy to get three sneak attacks in a row before somebody even spots you. The only difficult aspect about this method is the fact that you'll then have to plant the incriminating evidence while you have several guards searching for you, if you don't instantly kill him that is. So the third method, and my favourite one, is basically guys, we're just going to sit and wait on this rooftop until he comes all the way from the keep up the really long staircase to the Markath guard barracks. And once he reaches the top of these stairs, but before he actually enters the barrack themselves, equip the unrelenting force shout and then fire him into oblivion. What? If you're in sneak mode when you do this, you'll probably get away with it. The fool should kill him, but for some really, really weird reason, he survived it for me. So I had to Assassin's Creed him like some kind of ninja, and then just plant the evidence on his corpse afterwards. I only got a 40 gold bounty for assault, so it was definitely still worth it. Smart man. Is that a threat? Back off, or by the eight I'll cleave that arrogant head from its shoulders. Another time I tried this though, I sent him hurtling off the cliff. Whoosh! And then while giggling to myself like a little girl, I realised he was actually still alive. So because I possessed the IQ of a cornflake, I decided to make a leap of faith into the water below. But of course, Markath City Pond has the depth of a small puddle, so I basically just got cucked. If you're playing a thief type character, the final way to kill him is with the pickpocketing skill, and this can be done anywhere so long as it's in a major city, you'll still get that reward. So you'll just need the pickpocketing skill perk poison in order to do this. So get yourself a poison and then just reverse pickpocket him by placing the poison into his inventory. You also need to put the incriminating evidence onto his person as well. And then just sit back and watch the chaos ensue. Either way, once you've killed him, within a major city, just head back to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary to turn in the quest to Gabrielle. Ah, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well, and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. She'll give you a large sum of money and gold, and also the unique Oleva's token. This allows you to start the next miscellaneous quest in order to get the Ancient Shrouded Armour. So check out the guide in the description if you want to walk through on how to get that armour for yourself. And don't forget guys, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and then hit the little bell icon next to it. This will make sure that you always get notified as soon as I release a new Skyrim video here on the channel. 
You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and the links for that are down below in the description too. But thanks for watching this video guys, my name is ESO and I will see you, Lord Subscriber, in the next Skyrim video. So have a fantastic day and goodbye.